Today's Angler is brought to you by Chaos Tech, Tuffy Boats, The Musky Shop, Vexen Fishing, The Automatic Fisherman, Custom at Esox Assault, and Lee Lures Custom Baits. Bet you can't guess what we're fishing for today. The can opener didn't work so good. Sprayed me in the face with corn juice. There we go. I do know how to use a can opener. All right, we got our automatic fisherman, we got our jig rods, and we got our niblets. For those of you not familiar, what we've got here today is the automatic fisherman. It's a slick system for short striking fish or fish that are just real sensitive. Today we're carp fishing and we've tried tip ups in the past and they just don't work at all. The fish drops the bait right away. But these automatic fishermen, as soon as the carp swims up and mouths our little uh, corn niblets there, these things will set the hook right away. And the best part is we get to fight the fish on a jig rod instead of pulling in line hand over hand. So we'll show you our rig today. Basically we've got the standard automatic fisherman and a, a small number eight treble hook rigged on a drop shot rig, which allows us to keep the bait a fixed distance off the bottom. In the case today, about seven inches off the bottom is where we're going to be rigging our corn, where we figure the carp will be swimming by, and, and uh, we'll see how many are hungry today. So we've got our drop shot rig here today, and we're going to be rigging this with corn. So I'm going to grab a couple of corn niblets here, hook one on two of the hooks. We're going to leave one of them open just for a better hooking percentage here. And then what we're going to do is free spool that down the hole all the way to the bottom. It's about seven feet here, so... We've got bottom right there. And next we're gonna put our ice stopper solution in the capsule here, which prevents the line from freezing. and It'll slide freely through this device when a fish grabs it. So there we go. Snap the cap back on. And we're set there. Now we just need to set our trigger arm. And today we're gonna set a very, very sensitive trigger. We want it as soon as the carp touches that, we want this thing to trigger. So now we're gonna get our automatic fisherman set here. We're going to bring the rod tip down so the rod itself is loaded and bring the line over the trigger arm here and we're all set. What we've done here today is a very sensitive set. Just the slightest bite is going to set this off and it's going to set the hook and it'll be fish on and then we'll get to fight our big carp on the jig rod. So let's get jigging and, and uh, any second now this thing should pop. Here comes on the graph you can see that red fish coming up and fish on. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Oh, this is a big fish. Got a heavier rod here with braid, and it's still quite a battle. Let's get the transducer out of the way. Oh, let's see what we got here. Here he comes. Let's get a hold and watch out for that stinger hook we got there. Pull him out like so. There, that's a good start. Nice fish, put up a really nice fight, but there's definitely bigger where this came from. Got him. Oh, this is a big one. Fish on. This looks like a better fish. And that automatic fisherman. Whoa, boy. That's a big one. Not even sure how to get this thing out of the hole. It's so big. This is a 10 inch hole. Let's see what we can do here. I don't even know how to grab this thing. There we go. Oh, almost. There we go. On that little treble hook with a couple kernels of corn, the tried and true carp bait. That is a fat fish and once again, nice color through the tail, nice orange. That's, that's a really nice fish. They get bigger than this even, but that's a good one. A lot of fun on that automatic fisherman. Thing just works perfectly. You get that light bite on the corn it triggers and fish on and nice bonus when you're jigging. All right, let's get this fish back in the hole and try for another. Ooh, just trying to let you go here. That was a big old fish. A lot of fun on a little right, light rod like that. Ooh, that is fun. That automatic fisherman just worked perfect for that. Fish, fish, got him. 
wow, this is fun. I'm gonna jig around. Let's get my transducer out of the way here. Whoa. Not today, he's going on another run. Not gonna come in that easy. This is where the braided line really comes in. He's stuck on the ice here. Flipping like a bass here, how about? There we go. That one came on the stinger hook. Decent little fish, a lot of fun, and a jig stick at least. And we'll get him back and go for the mama carp. Fish, got him. All right, on the jig rod. I love it. About ready to snap this little rod. That is so much fun. The thing is, with this trailer hook, you gotta watch out for that. That trailer hook will grab the ice when it's on the way out of the hole, so you gotta kinda make sure you're guiding his head right into the hole here. Get his, ah, come on, so I don't get his, the hook on the ice again. Whoa, he, I got the berries to him there. He doesn't want to come up and say hello. Oh, that's a nice one too. Come here, come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out, there he goes. Man, this is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Who doesn't want to catch? Come here. Man, there's, a, there's nowhere to grab on them because they're just such a smooth fish. All right, who does not want to catch big fish through the ice on a small jig rod like that? Look at that guy. Who would have thought we'd be ice fishing for carp? And look at this, artificial bait, both hooks in. He definitely ate that jig. There's no question about that. They are definitely aware of their surroundings. You really got to be kind of stealthy in this approach. The bite is pretty subtle and you got to be pretty quiet. They're very aware of their surroundings. They're a pretty smart fish actually. All right, let's get this girl back. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Man, now I'm cold. Oh, that is fun. Absolutely fun. Dan, I'm getting back down there. I'm going to catch another one. Apparently the window's open right now. These fish seem to be fired up. There, oh, he's already here, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, he's gonna jump out of the hole. Come here, buddy. Come here, can't get a hold of them. That's the problem, there's no handle on these fish. And you got that stinger right there, so you gotta be kinda careful. All right, on the jig, no question. I mean, he absolutely gobbled that thing. Hey, that's just a little guy, but you know what? It was just as fun as the rest of them. All right, we'll get them back and I'm gonna show you how we're working this bait. Thanks, buddy. Well, let me show you what I'm using here. You'd think I was just casting for walleyes early spring. All I've got here is a quarter ounce VMC half moon dominator jig here um, with just a plastic twister tail, just your run of the mill three inch white twister tail. I don't know if the white's key or not, but so far today it seems to be pretty good. And then tied behind that, I've got a small section of 20 pound, uh, 20 pound mono here with the number six treble hook on the back. I like that thick 20 pound because it kind of sticks the trailer, uh, you know, out straight back. So it's right in line with the uh, twister tail there. So main line is 10 pound suffix elite and that's as simple as it gets right there all right so this is all i'm doing i'm dropping that bait all the way down to the bottom which isn't that far we're only in about six seven feet here there's bottom i'm going to tighten up you know and just leave about six to eight inches of slack line above the surface of the water and all i'm doing is just a lift and drop there's bottom lift up off the bottom drop back down to the bottom really subtle the thing is you know these carp mainly I think are kind of cruising the bottom section, especially in the cold water like this and with a little bit of current as well. So I'm just a lift drop, lift drop, and often the bite is really subtle. You'll just go to make that next pull up and that fish will actually already be on there. So sometimes they hammer it and those are the ones that are usually hooked on the main hook on the jig head. So just a lift drop, lift drop, and that's it.
There we go. Another bite on the corn. That was Lee's idea to bring the corn, and I was a little skeptical, but it's working big time, as you can see. Just a nice bonus fish, too. We're just jigging and running these automatic fishermen. And there's another one on this one, too. Oh, boy. Hooked up. Got two going at once here. I don't really know what I'm going to do with myself, but uh, I have two carp on at the same time. Well, I guess I'll stand in the middle of the two holes and just kind of wear them down. Both big fish, too. We've had two of them pop at the same time and have not hooked both. Jeez, this is a wrangle. <laughs> kind of a new one to me. We'll see which one wants to tire out first. This one's coming in here, I think. Try to land one at a time here. We've got Lee standing on my other rod just to try and try and manage it because there's nothing you can do with two of these fish on at once. One at a time is enough. Here he comes, I think. Let's see here. Well, that's a nice one. Oh, wow, that's a big fish. I think he might be stuck on the other liners. Or something. I know we got two fish on, but they may have gotten tangled since we're fishing our lines close together. Jeez, that's this a, is a big one. That's a big one. Holy cow, look at this one. Woo! Don't want to get myself hooked with that, that uh, gamakatsu treble hook. That'd be bad news. See if I can lip him like a bass. Let's see how this works. You're right out of the way and double fist here. Here we go. That is a big carp. A lot of fun through the ice on the automatic fisherman. Talk about a fire drill. This fish was part of a double header. I managed to lose the other fish, but uh, this one is a big one. Probably my biggest fish of the day and a lot of fun. I wish I could have landed both, but you can't win them all. All right, well, I guess we're gonna let this one go and move on to the next. Whoa, whoa. Let me just see the size of this fish relative to a 10 inch hole. I mean, this is a big carp. Much bigger than this and they wouldn't come through the hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is serious business right here. Serious business. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh, come on. This is gonna be a hog. This is gonna be a giant. I, I just don't wanna lose them. We almost doubled up that other auto went off the same exact time as this one did. Holy cow. <laughs> I never thought my heart would be beating this fast. Catching a carp. This is tremendous. That's interesting, you know, when they come through, I mean, they come through in a school. I mean, there's no doubt, there's a bunch of fish piled up. You know, Dan's got the fishing with the sonar today and uh, I'm just kind of blind jigging, you know, and uh, Dan is definitely, you know, seeing a lot of fish coming through at one time. So, you know, the school just kind of comes through down the edge of this river channel. You know, right behind me here, it's only about four feet and then it drops from four to about eight feet really fast. And those fish seem to be cruising that edge like that. These rigs, these things are so awesome. It is unbelievable. You know, it, they're tremendous for light biting fish. You know, when carp come up and grab a bait, they barely just mouth that thing. It's getting close. Look at the size of this thing. Holy moly. Look at the size of this mama. Oh no, no, come here. Got her. Look at this thing. This thing is a giant. I can't even hold it. It's, it's not, there we go. It's not cooperating. Look at the size of that carp on the auto fisherman. How much fun is that? Holy cow, man. Look at that. That treble is right in the nose too, man. She definitely gobbled up the corn niblets. Very cool. Man, look at that fish. That's a heavy fish without a doubt. That big carp, fat, heavy carp. If the midwinter blues got you down and you want to catch big fish, man, that's what it's about right there. Big carp on light tackle through the ice. What a fish.